guys, this is my new video on our solar system. So, I'm going to give you information about our solar system. Did you know our solar system is the only solar system that has life? And scientists know 500 solar system in the whole Milky Way. Have you ever looked up in the sky before? Up in the sky and wonder what was there? Higher than the bird, higher than the clouds, above the moon. Whoa, a whole host of fascinating objects spin in our space. Just imagine for a moment that we leave the earth behind and explore the solar system that's surrounded. We call it the solar system because everything in it is centered in the sun. Sun is a star just like many stars that you can see in the night sky just many times closer to us. Still, the sun is very, very, very far. Almost 93 million miles away. That's why the sun looks so small. Even though it's the biggest object in our solar system, the sun is big. It's 100 times wider than the Earth. If the sun was a giant jaw, you would fit more than 1 million Earths into it. Then that, the, the sun holds the solar system together. Mass gravity is what keeps the Earth and the outer planets circling around the sun. Nothing could survive. The sun gives off heat and light and it burns millions of degrees in its center. Let's leave the sun and explore the planets. As we move away from the sun, the first planet is Mercury. One of five planets you can see from Earth. It would not much look like a planet. It looks more like a bright star. And many nights you could sit close to the horizon and near sunrise and sunset. It, it is small and it has a rocky surface and has craters on it. It has no moon of its own, no air to breathe, you would not enjoy a trip to Mercury. Next is Venus. It's the second planet from the sun. Some people call it its Earth sister because it's the same size and has the same gravitational pull. But they're very, very different on the surface. First of all, it's very hot and it's the hottest planet in our solar system and the carbon dioxide traps the heat from the sun the clouds are with sulfuric acid acid and we cannot breathe venus is not very fun to visit so it looks very very beautiful to look at and the second brightest star in our object. After Venus comes Earth. Earth is a third planet from our solar system and it's far away from the sun. Of course you know about Earth because we learn about Earth each day. Earth is the third planet from the sun and not too cold just right and not too hot. So, this is the Goldilocks zone. We live in the Goldilocks zone. Earth is the only planet, planet that has living thing. Let's leave the Earth for a moment though. Now, let's visit Mars. It's the fourth planet from our sun and it's red and it has two, no two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Mars 
is smaller than Earth and Venus, but bigger than Mercury, because Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. Scientists are very interested, and they could, people could live on Mars with new equipment and tools. The probes are already been sent there. Probe, probes are like robots, like rovers. Two, they're two special robots that are exploring Mars. Those are rovers, and their eyes are cameras, so they can take pictures and sending information back to Earth. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun, and it is made of gas, and it's humongous. Thousands of us could fit in Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is called a gas giant. It's really big and made up mostly of gases. Jupiter is also the third brightest planet. It has 67 moons circling around it and 57 are the smallest. There, there's two moons that are big as Mercury and other moons are big as Mount Everest or Mount Kilimanjaro. Jupiter has the biggest storm. It is called the, the Great Red Spot and it could be seen from Earth. And it's so huge that the whole Earth can fit in. After Jupiter, it comes Saturn. It's, it's the sixth planet from the sun. It's made of gas too. It's like Jupiter and it has a lot of moons and it even has a beautiful ring. It has seven rings. The rings from a far distance, the rings look like they're plain and solid, but from a very close look, they look like rock, made of rock and comets and all of other things. Saturn has 60 moons orbiting it. Some are larger than the planet Mercury. Saturn is the farthest planet from the sun and can be seen from a telescope from Earth. Then it comes Uranus and Uranus is a ice giant and it is a gas giant too. It's much more than Saturn and Jupiter. It is so much tilted that the planet looks like it's it's spinning on its side like this. Not like this, like this. Like it's spinning like this. It would be crazy if Earth spin like that. Uranus has a ring that's smaller than Saturn and Jupiter. Uranus is covered with blue cloud and its atmosphere or surface is all so cold. Nobody, not even anything can stand on it. It's like boiling hot and cold too. It is similar to Neptune. The eighth planet from the sun is Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. Neptune is a ice giant and a gas giant. You may have forgotten something. It was discovered in 1930. It was discovered in 1930. It was listed the ninth planet in our solar system, but it got dismoded in 2006. Scientists discovered it was smaller than a moon and smaller than the smallest planet in our solar system. Then, scientists thought it wasn't a planet, it was a dwarf planet. It was declared in 2006. Pluto was a dwarf planet, not a planet, because it was smaller than the moon and even the smallest planet in our solar system. That leaves only eight planets in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, 
Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Enjoy exploring the solar system.